Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Citizen and my first look at the game in Alpha 3.5 and I come to you with a question. I have an Aurora MR and that is the only ship that I have but it occurs to me that I got this ship as the starter pack instead of the Mustang Alpha because I thought this ship would have cargo space but it doesn't seem to be getting cargo space and that's limiting my ability to enjoy the game at this point because there are missions to run, but I don't think the Aurora can handle those missions at all. Uh, so either, if you guys could tell me, yes, the Aurora can actually handle these missions, I'm just doing it wrong somehow, or I'm looking at two other possible ships. I'm looking at either the Avenger Titan or the 300i. That's what I consider, that's how much I'm willing to uh, delve into this. Um, the 300i looks better to me. It's aesthetically much more pleasing, especially with the rework. The interior looks nice. Um, but it seems like the Avenger Titan has uh, better armament right from the get-go, and better armament uh, even if uh, you fully kit out the 300i. It turns better. It has the same cargo capacity, uh, 8 units, but its cargo its room is sort of a little bit more useful, I think, for carrying other stuff. But I'd like to get your thoughts. If if they are equal, I would rather get the 300i because of the looks. Uh, but if the it's possible that the Avenger Titan might just be the better ship, and I just need a little bit of advice. I watched videos about it, but anyway, getting on to my attempts at Alpha 3.5, I decided to visit the new place, Arc Core. This turned out to be a bad idea because you can get trapped at Area 18, which I did. <laughs> but but first, I'm approaching this Arc Core planet and it is completely urbanized. It is a urban planet. Uh, a lot, uh, sort of like Trantor in the Foundation series or Coruscant in the Star Wars stuff. And here I'm just approaching it with my trusty Aurora. And I figured out some things. Uh, another thing is I do want to try and do racing in the Arena Commander and the Aurora isn't very good at that at all, so I think that probably the Avenger Titan is the better ship for the racing than the 300i, but I'm not sure. The 300i is faster but less maneuverable. Now for those who are relatively new to the game and wondering about performance, uh, well you can sort of see the performance, but I have to warn you that uh, in certain parts where it's doing a lot of rendering, the video recording had a lot of lag and buffering that wasn't actually present in the gameplay and that's unavoidable because the the game was actually prioritized over the recording and of course a lot of people solve this problem by having you know like a streaming PC or something like that I don't have that so I'm just recording on the same PC and as the resources got distributed to the game uh, the recording suffered as a result but I'll point out when that is right now it's running about exactly how I saw it and uh, but when we get to some of the heavy renders it's uh, a little bit choppy in general this game benefits a lot from being on an ssd like a lot like it should be required the ssd should be required and i'm running it off of an ssd the difference is huge between running it off of a hard drive versus a, a ssd versus hard drive and the reason for that is basically it's trying to do everything seamlessly but that means that when you enter a new area where something like skyrim might have like a uh, um, loading screen. It doesn't have a loading screen and so the frame rates get really choppy when it's trying to do the loading when you're initially approaching something. Now when we approach the planet like I did just now it's taking the time to load everything gradually but here I, I, it turned out I wasn't on the right approach for area 18. I had to back away and then uh, come back in to try and get to area 18 which is where I wanted to land. There was a nice view of uh, some of the work that they've done on this planet but there was no location to land. So area 18 is that heavily urbanized area right there with all the buildings and here there's a lot more scenery as we approach and I approach reasonably fast it has a lot more work to do and again without a loading screen that work is being done up front and that depends on how fast your hard drive is more than anything else it seems. Um, it does, I wouldn't say it was taxing my system otherwise very much. Uh, but here, uh, now this, uh, right here, it was smoother for me than it is in the video. So, and that is because my system, well, okay, my system was being taxed <laughs> by, by definition. Uh, 
uh, my system was being taxed. Uh, after it gets through some of the loading, it's a little bit better. Later on, we'll see a nighttime view of the same city, and that's uh, much smoother, thankfully, in the video uh, recording. But here, it's, it's tough for it. And, but still, uh, they've done nice work with this city. And I'm just looking for a place to land at this point, enjoying the view. This is the spaceport, and initially I was very confused. And also, the suede about the, the forbidden zones, the places that the restricted areas, because on Hurston you got destroyed for entering those, and here they seem to be everywhere. And so I was hesitant to approach the wrench where I'm supposed to be landing. And the wrench, the landing area is sort of tucked in, it's like a hangar rather than a landing pad. And so I was very confused. Anyway, I took so long at that, I stopped recording to try and figure it out. But then I thought I'd start recording when I finally did figure it out, but I didn't start recording. As a result, uh, here we are at Area 18, and I'm waking up after uh, having uh, quit out and come back in. And, uh, well, I'm actually crouched right now. Uh, yep. <laughs> and still in the flight suit. But, yeah, when you spawn at Area 18, this is where you spawn at. Uh, nice place of view, similar to what we've seen before, except this place is much cleaner, obviously. Uh, this arc core area 18. I don't know, there are other areas on the Arc Core planet, and I don't know, or moon? Anyway, uh, I think it's the planet. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know if they look any different. There isn't a whole lot to do at area 18. Uh, it looks nice and everything. I think I've seen people pick up missions here, or allude to picking up missions here. But, of course, I don't think I have a ship that can do those missions, so I haven't actually taken those missions on uh, or attempted to. There are a lot of art assets. I mean, obviously, that's something the Star Citizen is replete with. Lots of art assets, lots of ships available, um, lots of pieces to work with. Uh, the problem is there's still bugs with the missions. And, of course, uh, right now the video looks choppy. That's just the recording. Uh, it's because the GPU can't handle both of me rendering all this stuff and recording the video at the same time. So, again, my fault there. It was reasonably smooth going through all this. Uh, and, uh, anyway, here we are uh, waiting for the train back to the spaceport so that I can get back onto my ship and head back out and do some more exploring, of course. Uh, with my experience in Alpha 3.5, I didn't just want to stay here. Unfortunately, the game had other ideas, which I'll show you in a bit. Uh, but uh, we are familiar with the trains, though on Hurston, I thought it was a lot faster. The train here takes a lot of time. Uh, it feels that way anyway. It's really slow initially, and then it takes a long time slowing down too. I think the whole ride is more than a minute and a half, and that's a bit of a long time when you have to use the train to get from the spaceport to the main center of the city. So, yeah, that might be annoying after a while. Okay, it will be annoying after a while. The sights are good. I mean, it's a nice view, and I've been on trains before, and I've enjoyed looking out the window. But um, we'll see. We'll see whether... I, I'm just anticipating... I haven't gotten tired of it yet. But I anticipate getting tired of it. Your anyway, here I am trying to retrieve my vessel. And it says Hangar 1. And that's fine. But then pretty much immediately it's going to give me a warning. Warning. You are blocking an active flight lane. Please vacate the vicinity. And then it's going to try and take my ship away from me. And when I go down to Hangar 1, the ship isn't there anyway. So, yeah, that's buggy. And that's a buggy a lot of people reported. I wish I had paid attention to those reports before I came to Area 18. Uh, because it seems like a very persistent issue. And people are arranging for friends to pick them up to rescue them from Area 18. Because they can't get away from here otherwise. Um, this has been an issue otherwise at other locations I've heard, but it seems pretty persistent around here. And, uh, yeah, I try a few times, and then ultimately I log out and log back in, 
and then it gives me hanger 10 instead of 1 and 6 and that works. Some other people said that claiming it, claiming the ship instead of trying to just retrieve the ship uh, will help. But anyway, logging out and logging back in worked for me, thankfully. And so I got my Aurora and I was able to uh, head out. It had me worried for a bit though and genuinely sour at the game. Uh, to not be able to get away from Area 18. After all, this is a game of going from place to place. It's very, very important that going from place to place is a smooth experience. It's also important that executing missions is a smooth experience. So, I wish they would refine those areas in particular in the future. So, I mean, I am looking to get into missioning for the first time, really. Uh, and trying to find a ship that can do that. So... Yeah, I hope that my experience in trying the missions out is not going to be too frustrating, though I've heard from other people that it can get buggy, so I'm on, I'm aware of that and I'm on my toes waiting for that. Anyway, I left the landing bay, but I didn't have enough fuel to get back uh, to Port Olisar, which I wanted to get back to, so I had to land again. But you can see the city view at night, so that's a good... It was a good opportunity to take a look around at night here. And I appreciate that. Uh, you can see much smoother now. Although, I think because nighttime textures are inherently less taxing, you know, it's mostly black and with uh, uh, the color of the lights, it's a little bit easier on the graphics card, I think. But anyway, here we are descending and, you know, it's a pretty good view. It's magnificent. It's certainly a well done city. Only time I think uh, flying over a city I was more impressed was GTA 5 or GTA Online. And obviously the entire thing is focused on the city, so that would make sense. Okay, so I'm back in and I have to replenish my quantum fuel is what it is. And I think this, this is the first time I've refueled quantum fuel in the game. Because every other time my ship was either destroyed or I was trying out all those ships when we were able to uh, try them out during the expo, which I posted videos of. This is this is just always going to frustrate me. This is uh, tougher than landing in Elite or X4, trying to get into the bay properly. <laughs> uh, at least it's because of the beeping, you know, otherwise it wouldn't be so bad. Oh, and when you see me uh, being a little bit jerky going back and forth, that's because I've got translation up and down and left and right on my hat switch. Otherwise, I'm just using a single joystick with a throttle. And uh, I'm using the throttle to go forward and back, which is not very fine-tuned, obviously. So my translation up and down and left and right is fine-tuned, but uh, forward and back is not. That's why that was like that. Uh, maybe it'd be better off if I had that translation map somehow. But anyway, uh, I had to refuel Quantum. This is the first time I think I've refueled Quantum because other times my vessel was either destroyed or I was doing, uh, trying out other ships in the Expo. And it didn't really take the Alpha UEC from me. I hope it didn't take the UEC UEC from me, the one that is supposed to be post-Alpha because I only have 5,000 of that. But uh, yeah, it didn't charge me, so I don't know what's up with that. So I tried to go back to Crusader here, but... Ultimately, it turns out that I disconnect before getting back. It's a long burn home, and I, I don't know. I, the, the only one disconnection in a few hours of play. It took me quite a while to um, try and get out of Area 18, much longer than I made it seem. Anyway, uh, with that, uh, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. I hope to hear your thoughts about the... Avenger Titan and the 300i, and I'll see you next time.